where you live. We are here at the museum at Campbell River. Thank you to Sandra Parrish for an awesome insight into the 60th celebration that's happening until early November. Please check out their website for more information. There is so much going on and the lecture series sounds incredibly interesting. Now, I'd like to shift focus down to the Comox Valley. Rob Everson, who is part of the Kamakwe Cultural Society of the Comox First Nation, has partnered with the Comox Valley Art Gallery for a very unique and very important exhibit called Potlatch 6767. Here's Rob. Gaelic asla, Gaelic local art so my traditional name is Negedzi, my English name is Rob Everson, and I'd love to talk about uh, Potlatch 6767 as a, an art exhibit, as, a, as an event that is, that is being hosted this summer by the Comox Valley Art Gallery in conjunction with the Kumagwe Cultural Society. Uh, talking about potlatches, uh, the very, you know, our ancestors potlatched since time immemorial, and potlatching to us is the center of our society. So, if you will, in our modern day, we have, have churches and, and we have banks and we have uh, educational institutes, we have municipal halls as well as legislatures. Well, all of these things were wrapped into one and they all took place within big houses much like this. Uh, and what we did is we conducted our business through protocol, through ceremony. So the potlatch, you know, although many people think it's, uh, it was song and dance, prim primarily what we do in the big house and in our potlatch system is conduct uh, our business, uh, whether it be a marriage or a memorial for someone, uh, whether it be the transference of wealth, from one family or one one individual within a family to another, uh, it it really was where we um, all came together as as uh, as people within a clan, within multiple clans, and we conducted what what would be uh, treaty talks with one another, uh, making sure that we. Um, Know, know and have an understanding of where our fishing rights are, our hunting rights. So uh, through our oral history, the potlatch was, an, uh, was such an integral part of who we were as a people. And unfortunately, in 1884, the federal government, uh, along with uh, the church and support of, m of many others, they instituted a potlatch ban. And what this did was, was it uh, stopped allowing indigenous people to practice their culture and more importantly it it stopped indigenous people from being allowed to conduct their day-to-day -day business the things that they needed to do with regards to memorials with weddings with with everything that you think of today in our modern day society those are the things that we did and what it did essentially was uh, it it essentially destroyed the fabric of our society as it was and uh, that potlatch ban lasted from 1884 to 1951, which of course was 67 years. So this year, 2018, marks the 67th year of the, of the anniversary since the potlatch ban was lifted. Potlatch 6767 is a very important cultural milestone, and I do hope that everyone gets to the art gallery to participate. We will be there at the Art Gallery coming up after the break with a conversation with the curator, Angela Somerset, and the guest curator, Lee Everson. We'll be right back. 